The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Last fall, two inmates serving life sentences were able to walk out of Franklin Correctional using forged documents. They were quickly captured, but the escape forced the Department of Corrections to change its policy for releasing inmates on a judge's order. Uh, to put in place measures uh, that will significantly limit this from ever happening again. Then came the case of Darren Rainey, a mentally ill inmate. The investigation into his scalding death at the hands of guards was stonewalled for two years. The warden at Miami-Dade was fired. Next came the gassing death of Randall Jordan Opero. Four investigators sought whistleblower protections after they discovered problems with Jordan Opero's death investigation. And it took a lot of guts and bravery on their part to come forward. Earlier this week, an interview we had scheduled with an inmate was canceled after he sought protective custody. A text from our go-between cites fear and intimidation. Abdominal hemorrhaging from Also this week, civil rights lawyers called for a federal investigation punching. into the death of Latandra Ellington. She was also in protective custody. The high-profile deaths have prompted corrections to turn 108 death investigations over to the State Department of Law Enforcement. The what number about can change daily. Since January, more than 240 inmates have died while in the state's custody. The majority have been ruled natural causes. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Massalinda reporting.